Hi everybody, this is Justin from DN64, which is shared in Wyoming. wanted to show you a little bit about uh, what meteor scatter looks like as recorded over about a 12 to 15 hour period here in Sheridan uh, by an FM6 antenna that's on the roof of uh, my trailer here and uh, a little about how it sounds. I'm using a program here called Cool Edit. What originally recorded the audio to begin with was a program called Scanner Record which basically you can set a threshold and you can only record like it's basically designed for police scanners so say you have uh, some calls that come over the radio it'll only record those calls it won't record the static or anything else between them now the radio I use right here is a Sony XDR F1 HD and when it turns on you'll see here it was set to 102.5 FM and you can't hear it right now is because I have the sound system and boy this camera is not focusing very well there we go I have the sound system uh, turned down and it's not specifically turned to the uh, radio right now it's turned to the computer so you can hear what I'm about to play for you that right there is fed into a tape player right here which is running not right now but it's it was running overnight basically like that and uh, it feeds audio into the computer I use that primarily during FM season to record skip audio and uh, all right let's take a look at what this sounds like again this is cool edit pro uh, an old program that you can per you could purchase at one point it's been superseded by Adobe Edition now here is uh, these all these little blips you see those are actually meteor pings. Some of these longer ones may be tropo or some other form, but chances are they're all meteor scatter because there really is no 102.5 in this area, and I'm not going to need that on. But this is what it kind of sounds like, and again, this is recorded over the space of several hours, not just all at once. And of course, you have the regular static that happens. Nice. That's meteor scatter. And as you can see, it's it's very quick because the meteors are, are entering the Earth's atmosphere, just bouncing right off. Some of these longer pings, as they're called, are as a result of uh, more longer trails, rather. We'll go... Some of these are not usable. This is how you get meteor scatter on FM, by the way, for those who want to be DXers and don't know how. A lot of people just leave their recordings going all night and they pick out the pings from this. I use that simple program that I showed you earlier. That probably was like an urban contemporary station or adult contemporary hot AC top 40 or something. Okay. And these little plip blips I usually pay no attention to because they're too short to hear anything that's identifiable out of. You can hear a mix of stations in there. That's one of the characteristics usually of meteor scatter is sometimes multiple stations get mixed in there, but for the most part, it's usually one station you hear. That must have been a Planet Fitness commercial. Wherever there's a 102.5 with Planet Fitness in it, that probably is indica indicative of where that's from. Okay, I don't see really anything long. Here's something that's longer. But again, not much identifiable in there. And most of the time, this is what happens, unless you have a meteor shower that's going on, and then you can get some really long burns in there. Again, nothing in there go ahead here and it varies by night I mean the amount of meteors so sometimes recordings will be longer and I have on that program that I showed you scanner recorder there's a setting in here that you can set it to like record um, for 400 4,000 millisecond or milliseconds that's four seconds 
of additional audio and you're hearing the static that it records otherwise okay let's look around here see if we can get something out of this if not oh well it wasn't a total bust a couple of mi mixing stations there talking something else okay nothing so far I'm looking at the longer ones again see here nothing in that ping here's the longer one and you're seeing this as I'm seeing this I've never listened to this before recording this video so what I'm hearing and what you're hearing are both new not a lot going on for quite a while and then this big ping happens Never heard that song before. That one either. Somebody watching this probably I, says, I know that song. There's a little bit of a difference right there. You can see the audio levels up a little bit. Let's see what happens here. That's still meteor scatter, but it's very weak. What happened here? And a lot of the times I've been skunked by this. In fact, let's zoom out and just go to the bigger ones. Don't be discouraged if you get skunked. Just keep trying. Again, this was recording for a period of 15 hours. But we're looking at whenever the audio came in. That tripped the program to record. Here's a long one. That's a long burn. Well, that might be tropo. Let's we'll, we'll see what it sounds like and we'll see. Oh, Bohemian Rhapsody. That was a long burn. It's still going. That's that's definitely meteor scatter. And there's some Smash Mouth. Wow. I know those two songs. All right. And it gets quiet for a little bit. All it takes is a few seconds, though, of audio, if that. To get something identifiable. If you look at my logs, you'll see some surprising meteor scatter couches that are just very brief. Let's zoom out and see if there's another big one coming up. Oh yeah, right here. Let's see what this says. The hell was that? Looking down at yours. That's a longer burn right there. Still going. That might be Tropo. Or Tropo Scatter, rather. Because it doesn't sound like Meteor Scatter. Let's see. Again, you're hearing it as I'm hearing it, so. Wow, look at that. Either a long burn or Tropo Scatter. I think it's Tropo Scatter. I don't know what, uh... Ooh, wow, that was kind of neat. Combination there. I don't know what station those are. Come on, come on, give me something identifiable. This is a guided meditation on parenting. Oh, it sounded like a PSA. Darn it. you've ever used as an ice scraper. So help me, if you say your little brother's face, you're not going to be able to get on the air. If anybody watching this video can identify what these stations are before I can, just basically by hearing that clip you just heard, that's, that'd be awesome. Let me know in the comments. Sounds like Aerosmith. Okay, here is another tropo scatter. Religious? No. I don't know what this is. Well, that was kind of neat. There's combination there. Well, that was all. See, usually what identifies <laughs> meteor scatter is not like a station ID. It's it's um, a commercial 
that'll do it. Like that. You have to have Like yesterday, I got Colby, Kansas based on a commercial from Northwest Kansas Technology Community College or something like that. Oh, that would perfect if there was a few more seconds before that. That could have told me what that was. I would have gotten that easy. Just not enough. All right, Bob Seeger. And again, I'm in, I'm in Sheridan, Wyoming. So this, and my antenna is pointing south, east. So whatever these stations are, they could be from the southeast of here. I was hoping for Colby, Kansas again on this frequency, 102.5. That's kind of neat. That was strong. That might again be tropo scatter. That might not be meteor scatter. I don't know. DXers who've been DXing longer than I have probably could tell. For a good time call. Let's see, this is probably a continuation of that. That's a long burn. Of course, there's nothing identifiable because it's in the middle of a song. You only got a few more minutes of this. So hopefully there's something in here. Probably get skunked on this video. Nope. Keyboard cat song. Oh, here's a couple long ones. This must have been this morning. No, nothing in there. Really, of any no use. Ellie Goulding. Oh, there you go. There's your proof. That's actually Tropo Scatter. And I can tell you exactly where that's from. That's from Casper, Wyoming, right there. Which I believe I have that station already. That's that's Tropo Scatter. Cup maybe about 150 <laughs> 150 miles to the southeast east of here. Perfect perfect catch of that. I'll have to check that later. I'll have to mark that um, for later. So I don't. But that's Tropo Scatter. That's what it sounds like. Not meteor scatter, not the original subject of this video, but hey, it works for me. Thinking about this, it's still, still DX of one form or another, and that's probably what that long. That's probably what that is right there, KHOC from Casper, which again is a feed in of itself. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for meteor scatter. Another Ellie Goulding song. And that's interesting, that's on a meteor scatter. This is probably Tropo, maybe not. Tropo scatter. National ad, unfortunately. That does me no good. Okay, then there's the end of the file. So, as you can see, sometimes it is a, you get skunked out of however long you record. Uh, I usually let it record overnight and Morning is the best time for meteors, but uh, hey, at least we got Casper out of there. I don't know if it's new or not. I'll have to check my logs. But if it is, I got an audio proof of it coming into Sheridan, Wyoming, right there about 20 minutes into the clip. But that's a basic tutorial of what meteor scatter looks like and some of the stuff that I was trying to find from here. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I uh, expect more radio videos to come. This is Justin again from DN64. Good DX73s.